Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the August 16th meeting of Board of Trustees. Let's call the meeting order at 5 o'clock. Three trustees, Fire Chief, Road Administrator, Fiscal Officer, all present and accounted for. Member of the Fourth Estate, value member of the Fourth Estate. Keller, that's you. Oh, that's me. Okay, there you go. Fourth and fifth. Fourth and fifth. Yeah, it's one of those estates. Um, I would move for the adoption of the minutes, but I have not reviewed them totally. Um, I do have some blanks. I would, obvious, because I didn't know people's yeah, well, we, we can take care of all of that, but. Okay. Um, well, then we can just postpone to the next meeting if you want. I would like that, but if Don would own. Pardon? Fine with me to wait. Yeah, I'd love you're okay. Yeah, me too. Okay, so we'll wait till the next, uh, till the next meeting, which will be till September. Fifth, I put the seventh. Is it seventh? Wednesday okay. after the. Oh, that's yeah, right. The, 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 fifth, the fifth is a Labor Day. So. I would now entertain motion, a motion to approve payment of bills in the account of seventy-one thousand nine hundred nine dollars and twenty-four cents. Working down general fund. $1,989.37, fire fund $40,205.27. That's a big ouch. Cemetery $20,166.66. EMS building $1,937.60. Road and bridge $7,616.34. Is there a motion? I so move. We have a motion. Is there a second? Yes, a second. So a motion and a second. Any further discussion regarding payment of these bills? Um, I was just curious about the 40, the, the, um, the large fire. Um, just a busy, lots of overtime. And, and it was large chunks of that. Really lots of large overtime. It was just, <coughs> is it usually around 25 or 30? Yeah, a repay, big repair bill. Okay. So we'll have to, okay. That's all I need. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it just adds up. <laughs> I will all say that I am <coughs> frustrated by paying Hauk for doing work on something that's only a year and a half old. We haven't paid them yet. We have? Well, there was a bill yeah, we did. for a thousand. Yeah. $1,800, I think. Like <coughs> we didn't send it. Well, I mean, I think the, the warranty is a year, and I find that very odd. I, I, I imagine uh, home appliances tend to be longer than a year. And I'm, 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 you know, it's a legitimate bill. I just think it, it's bizarre. I don't, short. I don't like it one bit either, but apparently that's the way it is, and the bill that I don't like is paying for the water heater, which we still haven't paid for, but I still don't think, and Jason says do not pay that bill. That's the $5,000 sitting that you've got for them, for Frank Cohen. Oh, no, that's not that. That's a different thing. Well. No, we paid, we paid Frank Cohen. Okay. For the water heater. I mean, I don't recall. I called him. Okay. Discussed it with the head of the um, company, and um, he um, just gave me a really long, calm information story about why we should have drained the water here. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Which was, according to Jason, according to Jason, he said that was that was that was cool. it. <laughs> Yeah, I was trying to be a, um, appropriate, but... You don't say the water here failed because there was water in it. Seriously, and that's what it was, water on the control board. Yeah, yeah, no. I know. He, he, you know well, that's that not... I tried to... Okay, you know. well, anyway, please, now, uh, Marilyn and Don, please agree with me. Do not, under any circumstances, for the time being, give them that $5,000 check that you've got. I don't have a check. Well, you just said you paid it. No, there was there was on the on the, when you, you know, get a work order and it tells you how much you the contractor you're supposed to pay this time. Mm -hmm. One of them, Jason wrote right on there, "Do not pay it," mm -hmm. and I haven't. I've not cut the check even. Okay, 
All right, well, do not pay it. Whatever that happens. Okay, great. I'm not paying on it. Right. You agree? Tell me. Sure, okay. You agree? I agree because you're saying this is a brand new building, we shouldn't be paying for the new Well, so. absolutely. Yes, I agree. And, and, and Jason is going to follow up with Fred Coe. I mean, on our behalf. I'm not saying anything's going to happen other than uh, we may not pay them, but. Uh, yeah, he said he was surprised they haven't asked for the money. Yeah, and uh, I'm happy to let them yeah. take us to. I think, I think they're, yeah, I think whatever. it's passed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway. Anything else regarding payment accounts? Well, I made I made the motion. Okay, hearing that, may we vote, please? Um, Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Correspondence this period, we had uh, MBRPC's executive director report, uh, in addition to uh, age-friendly network equity analysis and the environmental uh, project resources workshop project on August 30th. We have several pieces of information from the Ohio Cemetery Association recent conference. We have a little Miami watershed network creek cleanup notice. We have a Green County Chip Seal program update. We have a Miami Township audit, uh, fraud risk assessment stuff. Uh, we have a vacancy on the Cemetery Dispute Resolution Commission. We can talk about that in cemeteries. We have the County Auditor's August 22 real estate settlement. We have the Township local tax certification for calendar year 21. We have the uh, Auditor of State Bold in 2208, 20, the Coronavirus State and Local the Coronavirus State and Local Fiscal Recovery Fund, um, which doesn't really pertain to us. This is for the, the political subdivisions that received over $750,000. State of Ohio monthly financial report for July of 22. State of Ohio is getting some cash, I must say, over and above what they had uh, projected. RPCC Executive Committee meeting uh, for August 16th, that will be tomorrow. Um, notification confirmation received the second funding. Payment of, that's the second tranche for the ARPA funding. We have received that. Uh, it's in the it's in the it's in the account. It hasn't been it hasn't been have it. Did you uh, appropriate or did you note it in the revenue fund yet or? Yes, I did. Okay. Immediately. Good. Right there. So it shows that we have. Hundred five one thirty thirty nine. What? 105,000. 105, but we got 65,000 each trunch. True. Let me see that. I don't like the word trunch. What was the sound of fund report? Fund report says AR. Oh, I'm sorry, I was on the wrong one, Marilyn. That's 2273. America Rescue Plan is 130,150.59. Okay. That matters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was one. I was one line off. I apologize. Okay. Fund status, revenue status, appropriation status for today. Any other correspondence in or out? We're coming. Oh, med accounts. So I need report for me. Say again. I I didn't see the med account management. So I'll have to check for it. Okay. We now take public comments for on agenda items. Mr. Public. Mr. Public. Any comments on anything? Four agenda items? Uh, yeah, or throw anything else in there. Um, just that I attend the meeting with the Yellow Springs um, Development um, Department, and they are starting a countywide um, effort for buy local. Um, there's, there's apparently some federal funding behind it and some county funding behind it. And the, the YSDC, I want to make sure, is this yours? No, is this, this isn't YSDC, okay. this is Green County. Oh, Green County, Green County sorry. Development, mm -hmm. the governmental agency, uh -huh. not, the private, not a private yeah. agency. Yeah. Yeah. So that's exciting. Well, that's great. That's all I, that's all I know about that right now, but I will bring you more information if I have it. Thank you. Any other comment on agenda items? Public? Okay. Thank you. Oh, I thought you well, there are two publics here. She's here as a press, but she's still public. Oh, yes, that's true. She's generally... Oh, yeah, one other thing. Just a point of uh, interest. Um, Bloomberg, Bloomberg has a reporter in town. 
that you'll be here for about a week talking about economic development, Dave Chappelle, and other things. A little, a little press, hopefully good. Where's the good. I have no clue. I didn't ask. This is a he. This is a he. His name is just Bloomberg. Yeah, Mike Bloomberg. No, the <laughs> Bloomberg. His name is. His, his name is. Actually, I can tell you that. Bloomberg Financial News. Oh, Tyler. Okay. Well, Bloomberg Financial Tyler News. Tyler Kelly. Yes, he's been to talk to the news too. Today? <laughs> I would believe I so. I never know what's going on. <clears throat> okay. But it's he's he's the he's Bloomberg the Financial Corp. News, is that what you said? I'm sorry? Yes. He's, he's of the Bloomberg Financial News. Yes, he's a freelancer for Bloomberg Financial News. Okay. And he's in town for a week? Yes. Wow. Hmm. Let's back up momentarily to the minutes. We do have a set of minutes from the special meeting of June 29th. Um, at which I was not present. At which you weren't present. I move adoption. I, I've read those. Mr. Hollister moves adoption. I will second that. Uh, any further discussion regarding this resolution? What date did you say it was June 29th? Uh, this is not a resolution. This is a minute. This is minutes. Of June 29th? Of June 29th, yes. That was for resolution 2226. Okay. And it was adjourned to 508. So we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, may we vote please? Mr. Major? Yes. Mr. Hoster? Yes. Oops, I guess I'll sign twice. I'm so nice. All right, that takes care of that. And I'm going to ask Ms. Warner. No. She wasn't there. She could have stayed. Do you abstain? I abstain. <laughs> From this. Not <laughs> <We're> so official. <laughs> Fire department report. I abstain. <laughs> you always do. <clears throat> All right, since the last meeting, <coughs> excuse me, there have been 41 EMS incidents, two of which were in Bath Township, and four fire incidents, none of which were in Bath Township. When does the Bath Township contract end? December 31st is my understanding. I would assume at midnight, and then the city of Fairmont is where we're ready to take it again, I guess, until they want to raise the rates and pay attention. Brian, back to us. <laughs> but I won't be. Uh, hopefully, as you can tell, the air conditioning has been fixed in this room, so I'll get that one. Take, oh, well, this room and your office, <coughs> the lobby, and um, the other room. The trustees' conference room. Um, and Broken Things, Engine 82 is at a service with a significant pump leak. They fill the tank and it drains out in like 25 minutes. So, service guy will be here tomorrow morning to fix that. Um, I have been advised that our levy task force will be having an initial discussion next Tuesday. Next Tuesday means tomorrow. No, no, one after that. Okay. Basically, it's just the initial planning and then one after that. Right. Uh, and then we've got two upcoming events that we'll be participating in. Uh, YSPD's got Touch a Truck next Friday, the 26th, at the high school from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Touching is only appropriate. Only appropriate touching. Uh, so there's going to be police vehicles and our stuff. And Cedarville's bringing a ladder truck, and Care Flight's coming in, and I'm sure Johnny will have his entire fleet on parade. Uh, so. Where is he? At the high school, on the park. Mm -hmm. uh, they did it for the first time last year uh, at the Bryan Center, but I think Paige just had a little snug with people parking and went on the trucks. So. Uh, and then uh, Tuesday, August 30th, will be the return of. Clifton Ice Cream Social at the Shelter House in uh, downtown Clifton, Center City Clifton, I'm sure it is uh, from 6.30 until 8. Is it our social taking place in Clifton? Yes. Yeah, it's an event we started 10, 15 years ago. It was very popular. People were very upset that we weren't doing it during the pandemic. 
Um, so and Mark Crockett would say, will there be hot dogs? Okay. Uh, there probably will be. <laughs> will there? They usually are very, those are popular as well. Ice cream and hot dogs. It's an interesting combo, but uh, hey. Dinner and dessert. Yeah. yeah. He, he will be happy wherever, wherever he is. Yeah. I'm sure. It's usually a fun event. Unfortunately, those events are not as fun on the budget anymore because I don't have volunteers to staff them. Mm -hmm. Everyone else who shows up wants to get paid. Mm -hmm. so, uh, I mean, I want to. I guess that is the law. I don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. yeah. They still want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they still enjoy the money. Mm -hmm. um, but don't worry, the salaried staff will be there. When's the touch of truck? Time. Uh, five until eight. I'm assuming PM. But they should make it clear. It's five a.m. to eight a.m. for a minute. She's on her own. Mm -hmm. uh, and then um, Marilyn mentioned Medicount's annual report came in um, ahead of the meeting that Tim and I typically have, so they can explain it to us. So uh, we'll probably be meeting with them next week. So Earlier this year, there was like a bound copy of something. I thought that was the annual report. I thought so too. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is the semi-annual report. I'm oh. sorry. Uh, they like okay. to give us data. And where will that be housed? Uh, you guys have a copy? And oh, you, yeah. yeah. So, um, Dan and I will be meeting probably next week with um, our account executive. Mm -hmm. We'll go through all the numbers. Tell us how we're doing. And then usually at this point, they recommend if we should raise rates, all that kind of stuff. So, we shall see. Uh, and something else I forgot to tell you, and, and embarrassing, but we are, uh, for years we have benefited from the service of Dr. Lynn Bailey and Dr. Steve Dixon as our medical directors. Mm -hmm. um, one of the beauties that we've been able to have with them, and most departments pay anywhere from fifteen dollars to $45,000 a year for a medical director service. We did not. Uh, in the days before Kettering Health, um, took over Green Memorial and Green Health Partners. Um, Green Health Partners used to pay doctors, Bailey and Dixon, to do medical direction for the Green County uh, EMS services. Um, we're assuming that continued with Kettering because they kept doing the service for us. <laughs> um, Dr. Dixon has retired from his job as an ER doc. Uh, Dr. Bailey is closing in on her retirement, uh, probably about another year or two years. So she um, met with Denny, and um, we're going to be turning, not turning, uh, taking on an assistant now. Um, with the hope that should he stick in the stick around the area, that when Dr. Bailey retires, that he can step into the role. You're saying for Green County, not just for us. Just for us. It was fifteen thousand just just for us. Oh yeah, there's yeah. The department's paid a lot of money. So we don't As we all know, most physicians don't do anything for free. <laughs> but um, in the United States. Uh, so <laughs> we don't share with them. Dr. Bailey also currently does a few other it's like she does Cedar Hill Township. Um, I think Zenith Township, a couple of others, but the discussion was what just they have for <coughs> what, what they do? every under the law, every department has to have a medical, a physician that we operate basically on the license of the doctor. So, do you get something regularly? Semi. So, all right. They do rubber reviews and those kind of things and some training. Um, our goal is that we don't have to give them trouble, like have them have to address issues. Um, but they take on a significant amount of liability by allowing us to function. And so far, we haven't paid for it, but we may very confused. I'm hoping not, but we'll see what happens. Um, but um, so the gentleman that she's She's found for us, and unfortunately, Travis Taylor, I believe is his name, but I don't know him, so. Um, he is a resident, emergency medicine resident. Uh, he's worked both with Kettering Health and with Premier Health, which is good. Uh, he's currently working in the ER at Mount Valley Hospital main campus. Uh, he lives here in town, and um, he's a little bit older than most residents. He started later in life. He had uh, started in the military. Worked as a corpsman, mm -hmm. uh, a hospital tech. Um, very excited and interested to start working with us, do some trainings with us, yeah. go on calls, um, and work with uh, Lieutenant Paletti on uh, starting up a community paramedicine program. So, um, 
but we're excited to have him on, on board. And uh, good. Well, you got a chance. I'll, I'll have him. We'll bring him by and introduce yeah. him to you guys. Great. You mentioned community paramedic. Yes. So community paramedicine or mobile integrated healthcare, which is a fancy thing, mm -hmm. uh, is something that has become a big thing in pre-hospital care, primarily since the ACA went, was approved under the Obama administration. One of the key tenets of the Obama administration, not the Obama, but the ACA, <coughs> was that if Margaret went into the hospital because she broke her hip, no. um, and then was discharged, and then was readmitted for the same problem within 30 days, the hospital does not get reimbursed by Medicare. Um, and that is a, that's a big carrot and stick for the hospitals. Um, one of the problems is the hospitals don't have staffing to send people out to follow up on. Um, and that's where community paramedicine comes in. Um, there are some success, very successful. So we would get paid for providing. Initially, the problem was that there was no payment mechanism for these things. So that you know, we were just supposed to do the business of our heart, which is nice, but then you're detailing someone in some places eight hours a week to do follow ups um, with no cost recovery. Mm -hmm. uh, the laws have changed in Ohio that allow us to either bill patients or bill the hospital system. Um, and then you align with them. More than likely, we would align with Kettering Health, primarily because 85% of our patients go to Kettering Health. Hospitals, uh, in the last check that MediCount did for us, something like 72% of the patients in my township are Kettering Health patients. Mm -hmm. See doctors who are Kettering Health. So, so Lieutenant Pelley has had some initial conversations with Soin Medical Center about looking at starting up follow-ups with fall patients. Those are the big big things, sure. um, where part of the job is we go visit them at home, you check their vital signs, you check the house to see you know, why are they falling, are there handrails, can we put those in, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. sure. uh, we also have a pharmacist who's willing to work with us um, to help look at patient beds mm -hmm. and do reconciliation that way and that kind of thing. So, uh, there's been some interest from the community about that. Um, it will take some work for us to get it set up. Mm -hmm. um, but our assistant medical director is very excited to, to jump into that. That would be a source of revenue. Yeah, it's, it basically covers its own costs. But, um, but it's, I mean, it's definitely a needed service. We've also talked about some mental health outreach, that kind of thing, because that's an area where there's frankly nothing um, in this town. Well, not in this town, it's county and state. Uh, so there's a lot of different things that we can wade into. Now we have more time to do it. Lieutenant Pelley just finished his BSN degree, so to go that thing. So. And it helps that we have a nurse, a paramedic who's also a nurse mm -hmm. on staff who's interested in doing this mm -hmm. stuff. So. Quick question. Um, who would be pharmacist make recommendations for drug adjustments to? To the Typically, we go back to their their primary care physician. Could that potentially be problematic? Depends on the physician, mm -hmm. but possibly. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in there's a service that we looked at. It's I think it's Mifflin Township outside of Columbus, mm -hmm. uh, which is significantly larger than that. They align with Mount Carmel Health, mm -hmm. which is I think Trinity Health or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and what Mount Carmel did is they actually took this paramedic, they detailed one guy who was a lieutenant. He volunteered to actually come off with his 2448 and go to a 40-hour week. Um, they, Mount Carmel took him in and put him through additional training in areas that we don't typically see. Mm -hmm. as, as paramedics, so wound care and those kind of things. A lot of extra OBGYN because we got about 15 minutes of this. <laughs> um, and they started this work also with a consultant pharmacist who would look at things. And basically, they said maybe 50% of the physicians take it really well. Mm -hmm. Others don't. 50%? Yeah, 50. Um, I think historically, doctors don't really like to be told what to do by uh, you think? anybody, <laughs> but uh, by a pharmacist. But uh -huh. pharmacists, that is their job. I mean, that's their training. Yeah. So, uh, so I mean, we have to hash out all these details to yeah. figure out how things are going to work and see if Kettering Health wants to do it. I mean, they were initially interested. Mm -hmm. um, and there are some programs in the Miami Valley existing already that mm -hmm. we can look at and talk to. Riverside 
has a program, uh, the city of Dayton has a big program with Premier Health. Um, so there's, there are things to look at in the area. And it's, it's becoming a bigger thing for fire departments to do. And it's a good, I mean, it's good for, for the community. And uh, it's good PR. Am I thinking of something else, or did, did we try, not try it, but think about doing it about five years ago? We did think about it, we and did. Then there was no payment mechanism at uh -huh. that time. Okay. And we kind of dropped it because when we ran numbers, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we're not going to detail someone 40 hours a week, but even eight hours, taking someone off shift for eight hours yeah. um, was a significant cost. And at that time, the state was kind of like, what, what are we going to do? Come on. <laughs> um, but now it's become a big enough service mm -hmm. that there have been changes that will allow us to either bill an insurance company or more usually you work with the hospital and there's reimbursement across the hospital system. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, in the end, we're saving them. Time and money. Mm -hmm. so we don't have to do that, so. so, something for the future. Questions? Questions? Um, yeah, the levy task force. As in the levy task force, that's something that an elected official cannot attend, correct? I don't know. What? And you're, I mean, I. I, I mean, I, I, I got to get these rules clearly in my head. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just an initial. <coughs> basically, my. Yeah, I guess I can say Michael because I've organized this all off duty through my private email account. <laughs> um, the idea is just to get the association who's our do the pack motivated. Mm -hmm. I guess is what we mentioned. Um, so it's we'll be meeting with Jeremy Ray, who's the treasurer, um, Ted Wasserman, who's vice president, and TJ, who's president, and myself, Danny, and then um, Alex. But again, it's in the evening, so it's off duty. Yeah. And, uh, the idea is just to kind of get the framework on how they want to do the campaign and then start to build the levy campaign yeah. committee. Should Alex? Alex, what? He's coming, coming out of retirement. Come back to oh, yeah. He's to volunteering his services to help us with the campaign. So. That's nice. He spearheaded and ran a lot of the last campaign, mm -hmm. which was yeah. successful. So. <laughs> and he's got the brain, and he's got the mind for mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Electioneering, you know, that kind of stealing elections, that kind of stuff. It's a joke. I wouldn't, see a problem with you. I wouldn't see a problem with you attending it. Um, I would see a problem with you, you know, moving along and being an integral part of it, perhaps. Yeah. The um, Ohio Township Association has a um, workshop August 18th, that's Thursday, mm -hmm. entitled for trustees communicating township financial needs without going to jail. Is the name. <laughs> um, <is> the name. <laughs> And wow. it, 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 they put it there, particularly during levy times. And um, I'll talk to you afterwards. I, I don't know if we have a password or like. Oh, yeah, we have yeah, 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 so I, I tried to register and ask for a password. And, and I don't know how the English version works, so all that we can, maybe if you could meet to show next week. No, so it yeah. have to be tomorrow. Yeah. It's, it's all almost registered. Right? Oh, okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah, so I, that, that title caught my eye. Yeah. <laughs> It's only an hour, so you better talk fast, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but other than that, I think I don't have any more questions. Don, anything pop up? No. Okay. Let's move to the cemetery slash road. Okay. Right. This is the last meeting. We've had two burials. Both were included, both were full burials. Got an anxious pending, but I'm not sure on the day yet. Do you have ashes pending for the ashes in your office? In Clifton, in October. Okay. And that was what that paper was for Governor yeah. Marker. Mm -hmm. so we'll have the marker there and place it when we do the ashes and we'll place the marker mm -hmm. in that Okay. I'm not sure if we have to show it. But it's up to They'll call it. They'll call it what they need. What do they call it? Damn. Oh, okay. That's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, our roads were paid in the same period. I don't think we had a chance to look at them. It was very nice. Uh, that was a very well done job. Uh, going up and down. Done a couple of burnouts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's one. Yeah. 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 Donuts. It's, it's hard, hard to do a donut, though, I must say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It looks nice. It's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. And put this big truck in, and I was amazed that they got those big. But that 
have very little damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they need some don't take her anything. Put some dirty info in the red zone. Mm -hmm. We've a good job. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Belmore's a pretty good operation. Mm -hmm. uh, they seem to have a nice, nice job here. Except on the topsoil. Except on the topsoil. They didn't, they didn't replace the topsoil. Well, let's we'll see. That much. Um, we really need uh, equipment and we could start a new formula. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You seen Walter, Wally? What's his name? name? Okay. I called him a message there last week. I'll call him tomorrow. Yeah, right. Great rumors. Mm -hmm. rumors. Mm -hmm. I'll call him again. They were scheduled to come here. Paid me everything going on. They decided we'll move off the week, but we mm -hmm. read more out of it. So. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I, all I, had. I tried to follow the uh, emails about the common bearing on <laughs> Couldn't. Is it, has it arrived? It has not. Okay. It should arrive in a week or so. Mm -hmm. uh, I was curious. Is it paid for? Is that the well, that one is that, for that one is half paid for, and the other two are half paid for, and we thought the other two were fully paid for at some point. They are now. They are now. As soon as you can, as soon as you sign that check, yeah. the mail. Uh, we were reminded by the Columbarian guy that maybe those checks got lost in the mail or something very pleasant, but it was a it was a very soft, gentle reminder. So we took it to heart and. And decided we might as well go ahead and mail. So they'll be coming to us sometime soon? Uh, yeah, sometime soon. Yeah, so. Yeah, the major that the work at all. Yeah, market. Yeah, okay. Somehow. Yeah. Uh, have you ever practiced opening those niches? Ooh, they brought that one. You did practice opening it? Yes, I opened it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I, I wasn't there. I know you had the tool. Yeah, right. you just put it in and, and cut it towards the top because there's two magnets uh -huh. on the bracket. Yeah. It comes out. And then when you put it back in, you take it in and out real easy. But when you put it back in, you put the goop around mm -hmm. and the hole. Now it makes it a little tougher to get it out. Yeah. It's more cool. Mm -hmm. I had to try that, but mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't take them out and brought them and give them a tool. I said, hey, I'll try it. Okay. How many blanks are there? Two. There should be a third. We should get one with the next one. Yeah, I was going to say, I hope we get another one. That's why we have two. You said there's one for each. Yeah. yeah. And do you have the, not instructions, but do you have the place or places that people need to send these with good instructions as to how, how to letter them and what to expect and all that? You got nothing? You just handed me a thing, you know, the two blanks and said that you give those to the family where they can take them anywhere they want. Or you want to, you want to take them in place? I thought I thought I understood from the Columbary man that there was a specialist on well, on the, niche. The guys didn't, didn't say anything about that. They said they just explained to me that they have a blank. They yeah. give it to the family, and they can get it, and so bring it back in. And well, maybe Dodds, it. maybe Dodds does that stuff. They have an answer for you. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they couldn't put a new one in the spot. But then, well, which that takes, you know, who knows when they get here to do it. Yeah. What, the way I understood was you give one to the family and yeah. they can have it as, and then they bring it back to us and we would. And then we, if we don't put another, actually, we do the same thing, we would give them that one mm -hmm. to a blank. Well, before we start selling these, I think we need to confirm where people would go to get this done. So we'll have to work on that. What else you got? Um, I wanted to let you know the uh, New Glen Forest Cemetery website is getting completed. Uh, if our IT person ever gets time from the obligations that have been put on her from someone else in the township. But hopefully that'll get worked out. We're ten to one using her time. Uh, 
she promised maybe this week there'd be something to see. That would be nice. Okay, and oh, I wanted to let you know that for some odd reason, I decided to apply for a vacancy on the state Ohio Dispute Resolution Commission. Cemetery. Cemetery. Cemetery Commission. Yeah, not a total state dispute. Yeah. Cemetery. And uh, I, I, I hold no hope of filling that vacancy. It's, it's one vacancy for all political subdivisions in the state of Ohio. Townships, cities, villages, county. It's a lot, of, a lot of potential people who might want to do that, who have been a lot better qualified than I would. But I actually put pen and paper and sent it in, so maybe that accounts for something. But anyway, so I disputes, that So it settles disputes. It's like a mediation for mm -hmm. cemeteries in yep. the state. Yep. Uh, cemetery, wow. A local cemetery cannot settle whatever problem is before them with a grave owner or, or, or whatever, or, and then it can go to this commission. Have we ever sent a dispute anyway? <coughs> yeah. mm -hmm. I think we did, and I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Dispute, what you're trying to dis dispute a, an argument, a disagreement, a for <coughs> or anything in the cemetery. For 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 the best example is this: this grave now has pictures of Tony the Tiger, Mickey Mouse, and and Donald Duck on it, and. We think that's not appropriate for the cemetery. We ask the person to take it off. The person says, forget it, I'm leaving Mickey there. And we go, mm. please take it off. Mm. No. And, and then, you, so then you send it up to this dispute resolution commission. Uh, and, and I do not know the, the strength of their decisions, whether it's, 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 a, it's a law, you know, I mean. What about things? access to cemeteries? Mm -hmm. Sounds what do you mean? That might be could be anything. What? Because I am aware of problems where property owner won't allow people one of the to get to the cemetery. You know, an old cemetery is surrounded yeah. by farmland. Yeah. Um, there are laws for that. So yes, um, there is. In theory. There are laws on the books that allow for for access to it uh, across properties, and, uh, and so yes. Well, it's, this isn't our township, so yeah. Okay. Well, good. Good luck. In here. Oh, oh, well, thank you. I, I thought yeah, it was interesting, but yeah, you happen to see if they're looking for a yeah. Uh -huh. Cool. At the at the township and it, so at the Ohio the, Cemetery. Association convention that I went to that was a, a presentation by the uh, by the uh, uh, legal representative for the Ohio Cemetery Board. So I said to myself, oh, okay. anything else for cemeteries? Okay. Let's go on. Okay. Well, if you if it comes back, um, let us know. Uh, road 530-ish? Quarter 6-ish. Road through record. We will be doing some wedging for 15 Wednesday. Possibly might go to 30 to go to jail. This is Jackson Road area. Yeah, it's going to go to the cemetery. Mm -hmm. Part of the game we do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Over the water, I trimmed yeah. it back and opened it up because it was three feet. Yeah, I saw you did. It should look a lot better. Oh, yeah. There's several little spots. We're going to do as many as we can for the bank of the buck. Several spots around the, the village? Yeah, yeah, right in the general area. Uh -huh. Where we're going to get church, where we're going to work right now. Yes. Yeah. We'll do as many as we can. Mm -hmm. Here's, you know, X amount of dollars. And, uh, yeah. We'll go there. What do you mean that we have? They have. Okay. Well, we're going to we have to work with. Is that what you're saying? Okay. I, I did remember mine. It's a big one. Too. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe. What else? Oh, uh, I should finish trimming the room. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Well, good because I want to talk to you about that, Marilyn. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Um, I did. I went to Fox Field. Oh, you did. Um, that's yeah. mm -hmm. the big 
Natural Burial Cemetery in Northeastern Ohio that I guess ours is somewhat modeled or inspired by mm -hmm. um, our prairie. Yeah. Um, I won't bore everybody with the details. I was happy to see it. ours looked a lot like theirs. Mm -hmm. it, it looked like we're on the right track. Um, I have a lot of things were talked about in our committee, but you asked, they had bought, last time you brought up the cart. Mm -hmm. most of the, so at the end of our meeting, I said, oh, you guys were on the website. I wanted to ask your opinion about the King Carl cart that says that you bought. And they said, we have one for sale for you. Would you like to buy it? And they said that it is extremely heavy. It's in storage, and it's now being advertised on Facebook Marketplace because they have about a mile, 1.2 miles down a bumpy road mm -hmm. to yep. get to their cemetery. Right. So it's just not practical for them. Yeah. Um, they said um, if you could keep it on site, it might work. And they don't actually know how well it works across mm -hmm. fields. Um, but it, it's a heavy thing to move around. Mm -hmm. And um, I have a note here, can it be pulled by hand? And there's no answer written there. So I'm willing to. Well, Kinkaro, on their, on their bulletins or whatever they yeah. say, they call it a hand moving. It, you know, okay. the family pulls and pushes and okay. everybody else does. But, but it, that's, how it's, that's how it's moved. It, it, it's not meant to be pulled by a, a bobcat or, or a anything mechanical. Now, they do have horse attachments, those whatever those things are that go out that attach to the horse. They do have those for sale. And yes, then you could use your horse. Dan, that would really increase your horse. You would have that horse. That's right. So we can you have a, a horse barn there. <laughs> Add that to your resume. What well, well, about the asking price, do you call? I don't. I, I could call them. I'm going to call about something else. Of, of theirs or the one? And then I would also. I don't know when they bought theirs. We might want to see if they've done any upgrades to the product. Who? Kinkaro? Uh -huh. like before we buy the one that they've never used, yeah. see if it's, a, it's the same one and yeah. see how much they compare. And they said, I'll find out what the asking price is because she said, I put the asking price on there because it's practically brand new, but we'll negotiate, mm -hmm. is what she said. Mm -hmm. But then we'd have to move it. Did you, ever, did you read the Kinkaro site closely enough that the one line that says, <coughs> After how what the price is and this that and the other thing it says but it says but we are gypsies and we're open to okay. offers or okay. something like that I thought that was oh. cute <laughs> gypsies okay I th yeah I'm not sure <coughs> that flies anymore to say that but it's cool um, um, I, I'm open to, to explore that um, but we you have to keep in mind that it would take what me or Dan and I'm frankly. I'd love it, but I'd just as soon not pay him to drive to Foxfire and back. Yeah, yeah. To pick thing up. No, I'm numbers. not. Yeah. I'm so not. Um, yeah. <coughs> so anyway, I'm not asking for this card. I'm I'm offering caution, a cautionary I mean, tale. Okay. okay. Now I did speak with the with the with the head of the Natural Burial Cemetery at the Calvary, at the, at the Catholic oh. Cemetery Calvary in Dayton, which has a 19-acre, roughly, natural burial cemetery, which is which is very fancy and very complete and very much more expensive than, than ours. But anyway, they have a Kinkaro cart, and he loves it okay, good. Uh, because he feels that it, it matches the feel of what they want to project to the family of what they can provide you know, to get from point A to point B. Because they don't drive on their on their little paths around this lake and wherever the rest of the thing is. So they have to pull it on a, on a gravel surface. And, and okay. I guess if A then B then B then C, they're not having that much trouble pulling it on a gravel okay. if they've been using it for, I think you said a year-ish. Okay, that's encouraging. But you guys weren't spelling the con Carl. Mm -hmm. you know, however you say the card. I think it's K I N K. K I N K. A R. 
Oh, we can get we can okay. get the spelling. No problem. Okay. Yeah, I know it's hard to yeah visualize that one. Thank um, you. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Anything else? Cemetery-ish? Who were the road? Who again? He, he was, he was right. in the middle of the road report, and then you say, oh, that's right. went back to cemeteries. Okay. Of course. All right, so Mr. Road. I have a new idea, just for my own benefit. For example, Snip Road, um, which is probably pronounced snipe because I was informed by some very older local person that snip and snipe are not interchangeable. But anyway, parts of it need to be mowed, parts of it need to be trimmed. Right. Okay. Now, between now and our next meeting, do you expect those things to be done? Yes. yes. Now, Houston Road uh, is okay other than that tree down on. Right. Yeah. Uh, East Hyde Road looks good. East East Hyde Road uh, has sections that need to be mowed and trimmed also. Well, Hyde is mowed and trimmed except from the village limits to the wars to the next stretch. Yeah. That's why I have to be all done and finish the other today. Okay. That's that's East Hyde. I'm talking about East East Hyde. You're talking about on the other side yeah. of the bridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's done. That's done? Done today. I'll, down be, the I'll be dead. Now, Grinnell Circle looks fine. It's true. Uh, Larkins, uh, yeah. he, he, there's spots yeah. that Needs to be mowed. need to be mowed. Mm -hmm. And then there's that brush that's down at the end. And will that be done before the next meeting? Yes. Tobias? Fine. A Harvison's got some spots here and some spots needs there. Needs to be mowed. It's been yep. mowed. got to be treated. Yeah. That needs to be done. Do you, you think we'll be mowed in the, in the next mm -hmm. two weeks? Before the next meeting, sure. Um, South River has some spots that need to be mowed. And trimmed. It's probably and and trimmed. Later on. Yeah. Okay. But those control the Yeah. Okay. Most of that stuff that looks ragged is so far back off the road that it really is not bothering yeah, anything. Yeah, but there are some areas that really, you know, yeah. especially farther on down. So be on that tomorrow. Try not to mow down your friend there. And I'm going to stay out of the yard. I am going to make one pass. Oh, there you go. I'm using the trim over there. Kyle's got some spots. Huh? That way I'm not going to go. Yeah. At 30 miles an hour, he can't do that. Kyle's got some spots that might need to be mowed and trimmed. But, of course. We expect perhaps we get through that next. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Hopefully so then tomorrow, we'll, 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 we yeah, might have. what we should yeah. We'll have something to refer to. The good um, news, Dan, is that this is one of those weird weeks where there's five Mondays, so you actually have three weeks and two days before the next meeting. So, no but you weren't counting that, were you? Well, we'll have to think of some other things. Um, one last thing, and yeah, this is kind of personnel, kind of, I don't think it's nitpicky, but. Um, I was over to, to, to your place Friday, um, see what's going on. And it was about three-ish, and Brandon was there, and he'd been working in the back doing his clearing and all. But it looked to me like he was pretty much done for the day. Were you working? No. He was smoking and drinking pop, and I don't know where he was, but he wasn't actually doing it. And then I thought to myself, I, I've been here more than a few times, three-ish, that somebody's here that doesn't look like they're doing much. I would just like you know, to put my two cents worth in that, you know, maybe you could try and keep him doing something. I mean, I had just about said, man, I, I hate to do that, I, I just about said, Hey, would you take the next 50 minutes here and hook up the water truck and kind of throw some water on our trees that look a little bit dry? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I could. I know. We talked about that, but he, he was working out bad. He did a pretty good job with us. He did an excellent job, but he probably could have 
done more than the last 50 minutes, you know. So anyway, food for thought, sure. just a helpful hint. Sure. Any word on the new 362 or whatever we're going to call it? Try to call it 165. We can call it 365. <laughs> No, I haven't. I mean, yeah. I'll check one. He's supposed to let me know when they're ready for the spreader. Uh -huh. well, I'll, make, I'll make the contact and find out. Is this about the time? I forget how long it's been out there. When it may or? Yeah, we, when it may is delivered. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll check on it. Three months ish that they've had it. Mm -hmm. Stuff sits there for what? Mm -hmm. It can sit there for a while. I, mean, I need it when they get stuff. Sometimes they have the trucks. Yeah. Before they get to a while before they get to I don't care if it doesn't show up until it snows two feet, but you know, there's no else, nothing else we really need it for. I'll just check on it. Find out when they can take the spreader over. Who's, who's dinging? Sorry, that's my watch. Oh. <laughs> I apologize. Is there a quiet part to the watch? or? Not really. No? Okay. I'm sorry. Well, you are one popular person, I must say. Unfortunately, I unfortunately you're right. <laughs> Uh, anything else for the cemetery? This class is a report for the evening. Um, yeah. Or later afternoon. It's, it's, gonna be it's a, you know, yet another resolution amending permanent appropriations where it is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to needs of township. Now the board of trustees authorize amending the following appropriations. The cemetery fund, I increased contracted services by $2,000. And in the cemetery fund, I increased um, repairs and maintenance by nine hundred and fourteen dollars. You mean the fire fund? Wait, yeah, what did I say? You said cemetery. You repeated cemetery. Yeah. Oops, anyway, yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm Town to trustees authorized fiscal officer to do so immediately. There's resolution 2231 before us. Is there a motion to adopt such resolution? So motion. We have a motion. Is there a second? I'll second it. We have a motion and a second for the discussion regarding the adoption of resolution 2231. Now may we vote, please. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Mucher? Yes. Thank you. Um, I would like to say that when I um, went into the fire fund to, to increase the repairs and maintenance line so I could pay for the most recent repair and maintenance, um, the, amount, the amount available for appropriations to appropriate any more money in a fire fund is just hardly anything yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, so the next time I need one of these line, I, I mean, I might, I might, we might be able to do a little bit of Rob Peter to pay Paul, mm -hmm. um, but it's getting really tight already yep. for the fire department. Which, I mean, it's no news to you, but which no. fund? So the, the fire fund. We're talking about the fire levy fund or the fire. I'm talking about the appropriated, um, the appropriations for the fire fund. You know all the numbers that we start off at the beginning of the year in the fire fund. Twenty-one ninety-one. So what yeah. number? Twenty-one twenty-one ninety-one. Yeah, yeah. And um, it just there was, there's maybe like, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars left that isn't appropriated. So I guess I'm saying. We might get to a point where the general fund might have to kick in a couple bucks. Or I don't know where else we'll get the money. Well, okay. Yeah, I mean, let, I'm, just, I'm just giving you a heads up. Okay. Uh, let me, or let you, whichever, take a look at uh, appropriations to, to date. Mm -hmm. Look at your percentages of right. expenditures mm -hmm. uh, versus the time of the year. See yeah. how they line up. If right. we're off, we can. Take a little from here yeah. over there. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, can you know, we be a little more precise here? Are we talking machinery, equipment, and furniture? I, I, I was specifically talking about um, repairs and maintenance, which is 2191, 2020, 323. And if you look at the, that page of the uh, fire department's appropriations, yeah, on the far right column, it says how much we've spent so far. And we've spent 75% of our appropriated monies, and we're just a titch. Well, a little bit past. Well, what I see is 99%. Mm -hmm. Well, that, yeah, that's no, what I'm talking about here at the very bottom. Mm -hmm. Total. Okay. See, for the year, we're, we're at 75% mm -hmm. right now. And um, so we're not in September, you know, we're not, well, we're just, it's just getting tight. But I'm not, I'm, I'm not telling anybody anything there. But it's really happening. Um, anyway, that's all. I just, you know, 
Yeah, so it's, the big one, the biggest draw, which is the salaries, is at 76%, and we're at about a month past halfway. Is that where we are? Okay. No, June, June, June is halfway. June is halfway. June is halfway. September would be 75%. It's eight months, yeah. So we're, you know, it's not, anyway, I just wanted to say that because. Where are you on the insurance on the ambulance fund? I didn't look at that. I don't have that with me. Okay. You got to go to the bathroom. Let's see. Just things you can know what's happening. Is that 2281? Yeah. Okay. We're at 60% on that one. Well, that's a little better. Mm -hmm. where, where are you looking? Okay, they're, 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 um, 2281. Last. <coughs> Last line all the way to the right. Yeah, you're good. See the bottom right? Yeah. Anyway, that's all. I, you know, it's not. I don't think it's any news to you all, but I just felt like just saying. I yeah. just say something. Thanks for saying that. that okay. Like next time, I mean, we'll, we'll when I'm looking for some money again, um, when I pay bills. Well, okay. We'll for, see what happens. For, <laughs> for our next meeting, we'll yeah, all take a look. Because I see like Medicare is. Yeah, some, some, some I think that's going to be constant. It's 775. And anyway, that's all. I don't have anything else. Okay. Uh, anything zoning in or out? Mm, hearing none, we'll move to uh, State Committee reports. Uh, we're confused here. MERPC Transportation Advisory Committee. Wait a minute, I thought there was one of the, what is it second? Sorry. Um, which, you, you're not doing, correct? You're not doing the TAC anymore? Uh, or are you? I have not gone to a meeting, but you have not pulled yourself from it, is that correct? That's right. Okay. So, uh, we'll put MRPC Transportation Advisory Committee, nothing to date. However, now we will have, we will need another MVRPC um, when Marilyn starts. Yeah, Marilyn's already started. She went to the August meeting and whether she has a re report a for this honor, evening or not. There's a big honoree at this, this it down at Riverscape is really beautiful. They had a really great breakfast in there. The um, honoree for the morning was Eddie Chris Beecher. No, it was a guy named Rap. Hankin yeah, yeah. from Trotwood, who has been on MVRPC since it began and uh, has done innumerable things over the years. And uh, you can read his bio in the uh, on the executive director's report, which is which is on our, on our uh, website. And Chris also was represented. It's okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. There's a picture. I was dragged. It was, it was great. We're kicking and screaming. Anyway, so. We so, will, we'll need a second MVRPC line. All right, and that's, yeah. but it's not the executive committee. No, that's what we, we won't do that mean. anymore. Yeah, it's called, so it's the MVRPC board period? Right, board yeah. board of directors. Okay, cool. Uh, now, regional planning according to commission, uh, which does have an executive uh, committee, which I'm also chair of, and also the chair of the RPCC, so you could put another line in there because there okay. could potentially be two different things. Sometimes the executive committee meets, and the, com the regular committee does not, vice versa, not so much vice versa, but anyway. Okay, so um, for the Regional Planning and Coordinating Commission. Yes. Is there a report for that? Yes, there is. Uh, but, and there was also an executive committee report for that. Okay. Um, which, was, uh, which was very slight because the, 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 <laughs> the, the, the main item on the agenda for the uh, for the committee commission was the Miami Township Zoning Commission's request to remove section 150512 from the zoning code, which is the part that, that authorizes a temporary uh, uh, use that is not provided for in the code. Yes. Got it? Got it. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that was pulled. The Zone Commission requested that that be pulled 
from the agenda. Oh. For some reason. And our so, zoning commission yeah, our required? Zoning commission. Mm -hmm. Requested. Requested? It was, it, even though they have it on the agenda for tomorrow? Well, yeah, it, they, they pulled it off of the and July you, agenda. You saw this, yeah. And they put it on the August. And they put it on the August, which is now tomorrow. So it, oh, will, okay. it will be brought up tomorrow. Oh, I thought it was being pulled tomorrow. No, no right. not tomorrow. Right. Because there, there's been a determination. Not that I know of. There's been a determination. <clears throat> no, there's been a recommendation from the, I'll let you read it, from the, from the staff that are. RPCC staff. Where do you have a copy? Okay. I was digging through. Um, I saw that the meetings tomorrow, and then that thing that she posted with the, the packet. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So. Right. I want to read that. It's yeah. Interesting. But that's that's for the executive committee to consider tomorrow. It's not a recommendation to the zoning commission or to the full RPCC, or to the Board of Trustees. It's simply to the Executive Committee for their consideration. Okay, so, but it was pulled from the- From RPC, July. From the RPCC yeah. meeting. Correct, regularly. in July. They were gonna do that, but yes. then they did it. Yes. Okay, All so right. I'm trying to get it straight. Okay, so it will be discussed tomorrow. It will be discussed tomorrow. At the Executive Committee. It will. Even though the Zoning Commission pulled it from the- July. It's, oh, it's going to be in August. Correct. I, I think it, the Green County had pulled it from last month because the prosecutor had made it. That's true. Okay. So now we have. Uh, now we have. I am curious. What did the staff recommend? It doesn't matter. Oh, because they, they recommended that we not do it. That we not remove it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This was, I could give the reasons. The zone, I'm sorry, I'm so. losing the track. We, it's, it, I don't think this is relative, but I don't think you need to take minutes on this. Isn't this just an aside? Or is well, it just yeah. It's a meeting. Oh, okay. There's, there's nothing wrong with it being reported. I mean, this. Okay, this, they recommended that because. This will be public tomorrow. Who's they? The, Green, the, the staff of Green County, having consulted with the prosecutor, says that um, Green County Executive Committee, Green, Green, Green County staff of the RPCC, I believe. Is okay. Um, shall I continue? Sure. Um, but you said they pulled it. In that July. was July. So now you're reporting on the August meeting. Uh, the August meeting this is tomorrow. a recommendation for tomorrow. for tomorrow, and I asked what the recommendation was, and she's explaining. I'm sorry. They, yeah, they did a review and said 12 out of the 13 townships have mentioned temporary use. Um, they thought it would create community issues if we pulled the, if we pulled being able to do a temporary use from from our code, that means we couldn't, in, in the case of an emerge, uh, a, a natural disaster, we couldn't put up temporary things. You know, the circus couldn't come to town, which is very popular. Um, that they have it in there. Um, and one other, one other example they gave, and they thought it was ill-advised to not have, for the entire township to not have any um, temporary use, and that if there is a particular issue in, that needs to be addressed that should be addressed specifically and they said where it is our prerogative to do it there's just a recommendation they recommend against it okay well, i look forward to thanks for that information to a, a lively discussion in tomorrow afternoon or maybe it won't be fair about it. anything else Clifton Union Cemetery. We have not met. Uh, are there plans to meet sometime? Uh, I mean, I don't know where we are on the meeting schedule. I don't either. Usually we wait until well, we after. We need a board meeting. We need a board member, right? We still, we're still short of board. board. And it, it is named by the other board members. But if that's oh, I, well, like, I didn't know that there was a possibility. Anybody wants to call? There's just that's, two people. <laughs> that's right, but. 
when's our next meeting? Typically, it's after harvest. We do, it, yeah. It's whenever we need to, yeah. It's maybe once, it's twice a year. But anyway, there's no news. Okay. Is uh, that Ryan's PPC that you're just talking about? No. No, Cliff Communion Cemetery. Got it. Got it. Uh, uh, why is the Bowman Corporation? Uh, our next meeting, our next official meeting uh, is in September. We are having a uh, a retreat or a workshop uh, that's discussed in the, in the paper at length uh, with the, uh, Jay Rothman's ARIA group. Uh, is going to you know, do a pilot on uh, sort of community planning process. What would it, what's our vision, economic vision for Yellow Springs, and what could YSDC uh, do in that direction? Next next month's report will be interesting, I think. Over to it. Um, I was interested in that and wondering if the township would be part of that. If you guys did a big, you know, clearing house about economic development, if, if that would be just just a little issue. Uh, no, the, I mean one of the, the the vice chair of YSDC is the mayor of Clifton. Uh, and the chair is the township representative. No. Oh, um, yeah. Okay, cool. Anything else? No. Yeah, I, my, yes. uh, my cast wasn't here. I don't have a news report, but that has the cast written over climate action and sustainability project. Which um, isn't on here either. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Sure, of course. I think that's what Grinnell Mill means. No. Oh. I'm See, joking. I'm sorry. The city and the climate action. Or oh, CASP. C A S P. That's sufficient. We would had it on there for a while. Yeah. yeah. Um, Grinnell Mill. Are we still reporting on Grinnell? No. So take that up. You, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can have that spot if you like, Marilyn. Okay. Okay. Although I have, do you have anything to report on the cast? I don't. I'm okay. excited about the funding from the village, but um, no. Does P stand for project or? It's right. <laughs> project. I'm going to say project. Okay. Well, since the granola mill has already been taken off. I, I now we need to add another blank, which was on there at one time, but it's not there anymore, which is the One Ohio Foundation, <laughs> which I am a representative on, which hasn't met in eons, but one of these days ago. One Ohio Foundation. Did you say? One Ohio Foundation. Mm -hmm. This is to spend the uh, $750 million distribution from the opioid settlement. And that's, we get a portion of that? We do. Um, yes and no. We were assessed a, a portion of 11700 and something. Yeah. However, the law reads that any political subdivision that uh, received less than, I'm just making this up, $20,000, they don't get the money. Their, their assessed portion is given to the county. So we don't get it. We but, got it. But well, you can weigh in on the One Ohio Foundation. Yes, you okay. can. And his representative, which is close at hand. Mm -hmm. So, have at it. Um. So, we got all that? Yes. So, no Grinnell Mill because oh, it's gone. It's not gone. It's we just, still own the land, do we not? And we're getting $275 a month forever. For, for the rental of the land? For the rental of the building, oh. we don't we don't we don't own the land, so we're not renting in that, and we don't have. What do we own? What do we, own? we own the building. Oh, I thought we owned the land. No, For, uh, the Glen owns the land. We don't rent from them. Well, no, no, we have a lease, a 
a 100-year lease from them, actually from Antioch, but now they're going to have to change it, um, which is in its something year. But we don't have to pay them anything, but they have to pay us $275 a month to rent the mill. Which they are running as a bed and breakfast. That is part of their, that's part of their, yes, their use of the mill. It's not the total amount. They will be using it for educational purposes and for, for specials and for projects and for any number of things that I have no idea what it is because they don't tell us. But that's the, that's the plan. In addition to the bed and breakfast, which like the reason we have bed and breakfast there is to generate funds to keep the mill operational. To, to pay the utilities and to pay the, the, there are taxes on it, believe it or not, and the Glen will have to pay taxes. I don't know whether they remember that or not, but I think they do. They'll have to pay taxes on the quote portion of it the same way we did that's being used for profit, the bed and breakfast, because that's not non-profit. We used to pay Green County Six hundred ish dollars a year in, in property taxes for the portion of years, and they'll have to pay also. But they do they they do have to pay taxes. They they're paying taxes now on uh, parts of their you know like the president's home that they rent out and the uh, uh, so, you know the where everybody gets married yeah. guys mm -hmm. when they when people rent that that's that rental money. Okay, we're done with that. Any uh, new business before us this evening? Sort of. Okay. What you got? Uh, maybe a year ago we discussed policy uh, for using this room. Mm -hmm. And just in the last two weeks, uh, we've had a string of inquiries. Chris, you arranged one mm -hmm. uh, uh, on August 21st. Uh, I'll open the door and, and lock up afterwards for uh, it's a workshop. Let me just say what's going on. You don't have to write these down. Uh, there's a workshop on uh, I don't remember exactly, but it's a it's an EMT uh, skills event that Colin didn't know about. The, I mean, the Interesting. Some state organization that wanted to have an event here. Uh, so, I'll, you know, it's going to be Sunday morning uh, for three hours. Uh, the tree committee is having a meeting in October. There'll be a, a community conversation presentation from the McKee group in late September. And at some point, someone is going to ask to do something when there is no, no trustee uh, on hand uh, to open the door and close the door. Or they're going to ask to do something that we don't really want them to do, and we have no written policy. Right, or you know, is it? I have all everything so far has been nonprofit. Uh, and there's things like kids and food and, and that we didn't want. Little kids. At some point, we we need to become more formal. Okay, that's a good idea. We do need to keep in mind that this is not our room. This is the fire department's room. Mm -hmm. Fire department needs to make these decisions. Well, okay. So you suggest we just have Colin write up some. What don't you understand? That this isn't our room. This isn't our room. This is the this is the training room for the fire department. This is yes. This is the township hall, as it were. I feel like but, that the people paid a, but maybe. I mean, they really supported us in this building, and we have this really nice room. And to say, you know, you know what else besides that, guys? It's got yeah, better it's tech than a lot of community rooms. It's a nice space. It is a nice space, but in the in the packing order of 
Okay. Who's determining the use of the space? That would be okay. the fire department. Absolutely, and I always check with. I know you do, Colin, and, and I do too. Uh, and I think it's a good idea. And their general feel is, as long as we're not using it, a suitable use can be had by the community. As long as they're not using it, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. As correct. Long as, not as long as they're not. Yes, up to. Now. I mean, I, I don't want to speak for him, but he has he has kind of said that in the past. Yeah. Yes, that's the case. And parking is going to be an issue mm -hmm. when uh, the land next door gets developed, mm -hmm. whatever that might be. Yeah. Uh, when we take um, reservations, we get we could encourage biking. That's true. Or well, we could also just be explicit. And we yeah. have to park on curb. Okay. At some point, we may want to address the use of the property to the uh, to the north of here, which, under decent circumstances, you know, decent weather. There's no real reason you couldn't put 20 cars. Do we own it? Sure. It's where it is. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, that's, that, okay. that's okay. you know, in the future. Uh, who, I, I suggest, I would like us to assign somebody to come up with formal uh, policies. And I'd be willing to do that, but. As long as it's in conjunction with the fire department, that's I'm 100% behind you there. And I think it may involve. I mean, the, it may involve uh, charging a fee mm -hmm. for paying somebody to be here to open up yep. and then to close. And we talked. We talked about that when when it was first requested. Mm -hmm. For it to be used. And well, now we have a year of yeah, experience, sure. and so I think. Yep. Well, then I'll bring a proposal to the next meeting. Okay. Marilyn, are you in agreement with that? Yeah. In fact, our, our cemetery committee was going to try to get October 10th, so. <laughs> our natural burial cemetery. Yeah. Well. Inaugural community And we also Tell have, do we have, also so have a conference do before the Meeting. We also have a smaller conference room that can take 12. Oh, that would be a, okay. Well, four times, four times, four times, four times, times four four is is good. to the left as you face our office door. It's never been used. And that is our property. I've, I've used it Yeah. two or three times. You'll see it when you walk out the door tonight. Look to your right, there's another door. There's, I don't think there's any windows in it. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a nice window. Wow. Obviously, I haven't been in there much. Well, originally, it was going to be the, the, uh, the, the trustees, the tr chair of the trustees, his office. Really? Yeah. I was no. told it was going to be the fiscal officer's office because of the money that they handled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was it. All that money. Then you'd have to delete the unsafe safe. We're being facetious here. <laughs> for us when you say, hey guys, come back and sign another check. I'll leave the key in that. I like the way things are going. Yeah, I think it's good. Okay, thank you. Well, you're very welcome. We look forward to it. Any other new business this evening? Well, I didn't think I had new business till me and um, Margaret spoke before this meeting. Um, Colin gave her the news that somewhere along like your 20 year career from, from becoming the township clerk to becoming they bring, yeah, financial they, officer. They changed, they dropped the township they clerk dro title. They dropped Stay her, they, it's no longer I believe, part of your job description to do minutes and agenda. And she happened to mention that. Sure. Um, I was actually, if you noticed the website this week, you can actually click to get this, this evening's agenda. Now it's very generic there, but my, my web person needed a placeholder spot. So, so they can say, you know, let's see, a generic, even more generic than this. I took off the correspondence, it doesn't matter. Um, so I was already going to ask if we could put a more substantial um, agenda. 
that we pay coordination. Usually the chair sets the agenda. I'm willing to do the work of getting the agenda put together. Calling you up and saying, hey, Chris, what, what, what are the things we're going to be mm -hmm. addressing this week? Can mm -hmm. you do a quick you know, thing? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be super detailed, but you know, if um, like when Len Kramer here, was like, here last week giving his pitch, it would come on the website. Len Kramer would be here talking about his new endeavor or mm -hmm. their new endeavor. So that that happened to coincide that um, that Margaret said. So I don't know how that feels. But switching at least that part of it, the agenda part to. I guess a combination of me and Chris, where I would be, I would deliver it and put it on the website. You would just, we just put our heads together, one of the things, the biggies, not the. Yeah, it's fine with me. I'm happy to do it. Okay, and then the minutes, Margaret. Uh, that's, I'll leave that one alone. You feel okay, but. <laughs> do what? Huh? Um, I haven't actually read. What the what the what the um, what the tasks of a of a financial officer? Are. I have it. I've taken I I've either. taken Tom's word for it. I'm um, dying to see it myself. Right? <laughs> you know, I, I, somewhere along the line, I I understood that uh, the fiscal officer still did minutes. Uh, that is in the law. I didn't even think you had to do I didn't, yeah, something I crazy like that. that. required yeah. professional people to be at the meetings. Yeah, they, they changed it, but, but well, I, that, I, would, that, that would be a bad idea. I, I mean, I feel like you're, you're not getting paid enough for the, what you do. Maybe we should. It's, it's, we, should probably, we should probably do some more reading of what, what okay. the, for the law says. I don't think about the agenda because I want to fix that anyway. The minutes? Yeah. Um, you, she had expressed the, the frustration of trying to keep up with minutes. It's just hard sometimes to keep track of when conversations go on. It's hard to write it down as you're speaking. Yeah. So anyway, that's all. Okay. What are we in now? We could we'll hire talk the. Talk to Margaret about it later. You know <laughs> what? This transcript yeah. Yeah. It might help. Yeah. How much yeah. is yeah. Honestly, yeah. How much I mean, I would. Month? Yeah. Um, twelve dollars is what I think. Oh, we can't pay that. <laughs> but you can use it for the doing it. I remember that like 45 minute chunks, but you can get around it. That's not just what it works. Turn it on and off. <laughs> Basically, yeah. yeah. We actually use Zoom. Um, and there's a free app that called Phantom Note Taker that will that will, will record the meeting for you as well, even on video. Uh, record the meeting for you, and uh, it will go ahead and take all of the notes, and it will even the AI on it even pulls out open questions without you having to. Mm -hmm. Do anything, it just says these are the open questions from the meeting. Mm -hmm. oh, no, but you would that. use it as minutes, though, wouldn't they? I mean, well, you'd have to edit it. Yeah. 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 It does take some time, and it's only, usually these AI things are only about 85% accurate. Mm -hmm. It depends on how loud you talk and how good your microphone is mm -hmm. and where it is. Yeah. Which is why I yeah. don't just rely on that and do this, too. But this is for backup if I have a question. Mm -hmm. What are you typing into? Just a document. So it's doing both things. It's okay, so it's doing it in the background. Yeah. Okay. So like now it's it's recording. I'm in this. Mm -hmm. I switch over mm -hmm. to my document. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. I'm a nervous person. I don't, I'm gonna make sure yeah. I have everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I've never seen anyone transcribe from a keypad onto a phone. Well, which makes me uh, luddite. I understand. But well, <laughs> it's not all. It's not as a computer's better, but it's heavier, it's louder, it takes more battery. Yep, so. sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Next thing you know, it'll be on your glasses. Okay, so, anything else? No, no, we are straight through your mind, because it's um, having, I didn't think I had you said what I, and then it reminded me that when I went to Foxfield, 17 is the number of horse and buggies I passed, mm -hmm. the Amish. So we also saw an Amish kid on a scooter and an Amish woman on a bike. It was great. And um, part, a big part of their business, which was really fascinating, is the Amish, I don't know what they do, but they do some kind of civil burial on their own land. Mm -hmm. um, but they, they have a clientele that is ex-Amish, where people who 
were raised with natural burials, but are no longer a part of the community. So they, they turned to Fox Field. To interesting. Yeah, so, that might be really interesting. That's all I have to say about that. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. I was going to ask if I could, I don't know when the appropriate point in the meeting is for me to ask, I have a question about clarifying something if it's during the time. Sure, any, any time. Yeah, any okay. time, please. Um, when did the Grinnell Mill pass out of oh, the building? When did you stop? August 1st. Okay. I think I have that written down somewhere. I cannot remember if I reported it. I don't mm -hmm. think I did. Yeah. But, um, just, mm -hmm. um, and the, the second round of ARP funds, mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, what did, I think you may have mentioned at the last meeting that there may be some conversation in the future about how those will be used, or mm -hmm. is, but that's coming up, we haven't talked about that. No, we, we haven't. haven't, and okay. the other two trustees thought it wise to see what the outcome of our levy campaign is before we okay. know if we'll be able to have any that's and, um, and the last thing I had, and I, um, so this thing, the zoning commission thing that's going for mm -hmm. um, the, um, there are so many, yeah, 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 I was like, there's so many acronyms. Yeah. Um, was that, that's not the thing that, that Richard talked about at last meeting. Mm -hmm. It is the same yes, thing? Yes, Okay, that's all. Oh, oh. And it's, it, it's the ability for the landowner, and in this particular case, well, let's use Mr. Weary, who is the one who has applied multiple times for this uh, exemption to permit a conditional use of his property for a use that's not uh, currently authorized, and that would be to have Mr. Chappelle have his performances on his property. And the Zoning Commission, of their own volition, this is not this did not come from us or a private resident, which we could have uh, decided to uh, explore the possibility of removing that, uh, that 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 exemption possibility, and that's what's going oh, through the yeah in the, in the zoning yeah in the zoning code removing from the zoning code, uh, and that's what's before the first step of it being removed. And that is going to the county regional planning office for a recommendation, not anything else other than just a recommendation. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Yeah, I word say, exemption technically wasn't a temporary use. Temporary use. Yeah. Their exemption to the code. Yeah. Temporary. Kind of exemption but, to the but use. I want to say that right. it actually means what the thing he talked about last week was not the same. That's what I, I didn't think it sounded well, like. That was the plan development. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. it was okay. two weeks ago that we had a True. showdown. Thank you very much. Uh huh. And I, I think that, that wasn't in it. Yeah, well, Ryan down. was here that week, I think. Oh, he wrote about that. Okay, yeah. yes. That's why I don't know. Where, not that I don't read my code. Yeah. Work <laughs> but in your spare time, you catch up on the township news. He does. <laughs> Anything else? I wanted to clarify that. Okay, I'll ask if you go. Oh, oh. oh, this. Well, this we'll, thing that you wanted to input was that come? That's not part of the meeting. That's not part of the meeting. That is part of the meeting. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. the thing for Len. Right. Okay. Which is under old business. Yeah. And I promised him something after this meeting. Okay, so I'll sit in my chair and read about it, and then. Okay, but I w I want this board to say it's okay for me to send a response to, that he requested. Yeah, and it looks after this like uh, it looks like Len, you know, let us. It looks like information straight from the horse's mouth. Right. So I don't mm -hmm. think substantial. You know, I was surprised that we contributed fifty thousand to. Well, yeah, but, but, well but, yeah, I was like I said, that was that was a that was a draft. Um, yeah. So it, it, like it could be thirty-seven seven. Yeah. We'd have to go back. That's okay. So I'll just check that and um. Here's active. I uh, and I see that record request. I call him. Um. I've read it and it sounds great. So. Yeah. All right. So so there's, so there's no problem with me so setting it, cleaning it up. Do a motion or anything? No. no. Okay. I'll clean it up, put it on a letterhead, and get it off to him. 
as soon as I can. Okay. Any other old business this evening? Tick, 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 tick. Hearing none, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Okay. Right, so move. And I second. We have a motion and a second. We will be adjourned by Lamechan. Thank you all for coming this evening.